This video will show you the trick to Brummel locking a splice with only one free tail. A standardized splice just buries the tail in the Dyneema. This creates a really strong eye attachment without the need for a knot. It works with the tension line clamping down onto the tail like a Chinese finger trap. However, the Achilles heel of the simple eye splice is that when the main line isn't loaded, it won't clamp down on the tail, and this means the tail can easily come loose and slide out. To fix this, many people will use a Brummel lock. This is when you take the tail through the standing line, and you then take the standing line back through the tail. This creates what's called a Brummel lock, and it means the tail can't pull out from the berry. Obviously you still need to complete the berry as this is where the strength of the eye splice comes from. But what do you do if you don't have two free tails? You can put a couple of stitches through the rope or you could whip it where the berry starts. However best practice is really to complete the Brummel lock and to do this you need the trick. Okay, so we're gonna start off like a normal Brummel lock, taking the tail of the rope straight the way through the standing end. This creates the eye of your splice. Now, because the end is fixed, the main line is fixed, you can't take that back through the tail. Instead, and you're gonna need a larger fit to do this, you're gonna take the eye of the splice through the tail. So squish up the eye and post it through the tail like so. And here you can see we've created the Brummel lock without using the fixed tail. Now you'll notice the rope is twisted over on itself and we need to fix that before we can complete the berry. However, the lock of the splice, the Brummel lock, is now complete. So to remove the twist of the rope, you need to take the tail back through itself in the direction towards the eye. Through the, through the hole in the tail, back towards the eye. And this will pull out the twist in the tail. It's really important you complete this step before you go on to bury. The Brummel lock though is, is now complete and all that's left to do is bury the tail like you would for any splice. You want to bury about 50 times the diameter of the rope and put a really nice long taper into the tail so you don't have any concentrations of stress. There's so many situations where you can't get to one end of your Dyneema, whether it's a halyard that's already moused or the other end is already lock spliced onto a fitting and you want to create a Brummel lock in the free end. So hopefully this trick will enable you to complete more Brummel locks without the need for whipping or splicing to hold a standard eye splice together.